komdi sæll og blessaður og komdi sæll og blessuð. Ég heiti Justin, ég er frá Bandaríkinum í núna, ég átti heima hérna í Washington. Hello, uh, my name is Justin, I'm from the United States and now I live here in Washington. For the parts I'm unable to say in Icelandic, um, I was one of the two recipients of the Icelandic Root Scholarship for Snorri uh, program participants to study in Iceland. So let me begin by thanking the Icelandic Roots organization, the board members, participants in the organization, and especially Sunna. Uh, what you guys do is unbelievably amazing, and the money you, you provided me was, was indispensable in helping me to, to study in Iceland this summer. And in Iceland, with my time meeting other Icelandic groups like the Icelandic Society uh, of Utah, uh, based out of Spanish Fork, I found that there are a few people who don't know Suna and don't have amazing, wonderful things to say about her and the, the sh things she does, so thank you. I would also like to take some time to tell you guys about my experience in Iceland, what I did, and really what I got out of the experience. So I'll be focusing mostly on what I did outside of the first two weeks in Reykjavik and the last week with the other Snorri participants, as that is more standard and I would imagine you know what happens in that part and I'll focus more on the homestay portion which is what I think is more different for each volunteer or for each each um, participant. My first week I spent up at a bed and breakfast near Geysir working with two other young adults who were, were in charge of the place. One of whom, like my great-great-grandmother, is from the Westman Islands and it was fun getting to speak with her, finding out about this place that I had heard of for so long from an actual Icelander. And it was also a great chance to meet tourists and get their take on Iceland and then just kind of make these close friends and, and talk about Iceland. Uh, my second week, I stayed with actual family and I cannot count by name or personally the number of people I met, met and what an amazing impact they made on me. But seriously, meeting family and spending personal quality time with them, getting to know them, as family, not just in name, but, but in substance, was hugely important. Uh, they welcomed me into their home, showed me their lives. It was incredible. And one of the greatest treasures I brought back from this trip is a, a children's book that one of my, if I did the math correctly, fifth cousins once removed wrote. She mentioned she wrote it and then just gave me a copy, which is incredible. This is one of my my goals as an Icelandic or a student of the Icelandic language is to one day read this. I'm not there yet, but I will. Um, in my last week, I spent time working at a summer camp for Icelandic teenagers. The organization was run through other family members of mine, which is how I got involved with the program. And that was also an invaluable experience because like any country, people of different ages of different generations will see it differently and getting to spend time with Icelandic teenagers with who themselves were hanging out with their Icelandic teenager friends allowed me to see a different side of Iceland that up to that point and after that point I didn't see because the new generation of Icelanders has a different take on Iceland and what the country means and what it means to be an Icelander. That was incredibly valuable. I'd say my favorite or most valuable experiences I had were one, meeting family, um, Short of the Snorri program, I don't know if I ever would have been able to make those contacts with that many people and, and meet them in person. That was incredible. And I thank the Icelandic Roots organization again and the Snorri program for giving me that incredible opportunity. As the beginning of this video would suggest, the opportunity to learn the language was huge for me. I'm someone that finds that learning a language is one of the best ways to connect with people and having the incredible language classes we had in our first couple weeks in Reykjavik, as well as the opportunity to learn from my family members, my friends, and learn immersively, I was able to attain a level of language that I could have never reached on my own. Which is not at all to say that I'm done. I'm still studying as often as I can the language, and I would like to shoot for fluency someday. But this was an, an important, crucial step in getting there. And I'd say the, the final really incredibly amazing moment I had was visiting the Westman Islands with my parents who came after the Snorri program was finished. We took a ferry 
to Hema'e, the main island that is inhabited of the Westman Islands, we got to walk the streets that my family once walked, got to see the landscape that they gazed upon with their own eyes, and that is that was such an indescribable, touching experience that I can't, especially in such a short video, convey what that meant to me and what it meant for my mother as well. One of the things um, on the island, they have a monument to the immigrants who left the Westman Islands in the mid late 1800s, and it includes the names of all the Icelanders that left. That monument includes the names of my family members that left and searching those out with my mother, finding them was, was indescribable. It was such an intimate, personal moment that, that will stick with me for the rest of my life. So again, let me, let me thank everyone involved with Icelandic Roots for helping support us uh, participants in the story program. It's, it's much appreciated and it's something that most of us couldn't do without the support, so thank you. And last thing I would like to, to give, um, show for you guys is a little bit of music that I picked up when I got back. I believe Suna shared with many people the paper that I wrote for our graduation ceremony with Snorri, in which I talked about a kind of personal concert we had by the Icelandic singer-songwriter Svavar Knutr and the impact his music had on me. So when I came back, I decided I needed to pick up the ukulele so that I could play a little bit of Icelandic music. So I'm gonna do that for you. This song is called Vetrarsolf or Winter Sun. Stay with me, my